Mm. Yum. I like this sweet, <laughs> salty, <laughs> right, right, right. spicy combination. Mm. So we finished that funny chicken series. We still do have a little bit more chicken left, but we're gonna switch it around and it's go like to the korokke type of food. Yeah, and this is the first one. Maybe this is a famikoro, famikoro, which beef. is like the the traditional, traditional croquette, beef croquette, beef croquette. Okay, Ooh. very crispy on the outside, and let's take a look. Ooh, Ooh yeah, that's definitely potatoes. And yeah, I, I do see some meat, so this must be the famikoro, famikoro. with beef. Takimasu! I, I, I wanna half of this. Mm. Good? The potato is sweet. Mm. Very good potatoes. And the mm. meat has so much flavor. The, the crust is not too thick, it's very thin panko crust. Because crispy and light, doesn't taste oily at all. Sakai! Natto sakutto. Sakai. What is that? <laughs> Very smoothly. What? What? <laughs> smoothly. Smoothly biting. Smoothly biting. Smoothly biting. So the next one looks like another croquette. It's very soft, fluffy. Mm. And I think that's potatoes. Mm -hmm. I guess croquettes always have to have potatoes. Unless it's cream croquette, and there's no potatoes in it. But this one tastes like straight potatoes, mm -hmm. seasoned potatoes. Mm -hmm. The other one had meat in it. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't taste like meat. My mother would like this. Mm -hmm. She loves... Potato, for potato lovers. For potato <laughs> lovers everywhere. Okay, so here's the next one. Now, I think this might be the gratin koroke because it was very soft when mm -hmm. I was taking it out of the oven. Mm -hmm. So uh, let me cut into this. Okay. And see if it's actually the gratin koroke. Oh yeah, this oh, is gratin. Yeah, gratin, gratin. Look at that. You see all the mm. cream? This is gratin. Look. Oh yeah, it's hard to cut. Because it's so soft. I actually never had gratin koroke ever really? in my whole life. Really? Yes, I never did. I like gratin koroke. Mm. Mmm! 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 Oh, this is delicious! Very smooth! Smooth, creamy! Smooth, cream! There's macaroni mm. in here! Yes! It's macaroni gratin! Mm. Mm. Wow! This macaroni and this really creamy cream sauce! Mm. You know what this reminds me of? And you know what I just thought of? You know, macaroni and cheese croquette. Oh, macaroni and cheese croquette! That might be good! Mm. What do you guys think, huh? Macaroni and cheese croquette! Macaroni and cheese yeah. croquette. Mm. Hmm, what could this be? It must be cheese chicken. Cheese it looks chicken. Like a, it looks like a uh, menchi katsu. It does, <laughs> but we didn't buy menchi katsu. We didn't right? buy. Because it wasn't available. Mm -hmm. You hear that crisp? Oh, oh wrong! Oh. This hamu? is hamu katsu. hamu katsu. Oh, this is hamu katsu. Hamu katsu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one is tough because we don't know what it is unless we cut into it. So that's basically a ham steak mm -hmm. made into a katsu. Mm -hmm. This is a very, very typical deep fried item here in Japan. I see. Uh, it's Gabu Uma Hamu Katsu. Oh, there it is. Gabu Uma Hamu Katsu. Gabu Uma Hamu Katsu. Gabu Uma. So Gabu yes. means oh. Uma means yum. Katsu means deep fried stuff. 119 yen. Oh, okay. That's not bad. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Oh, oh crispy! Mmm, mm. very good. Mm. And the ham is very tender. Mm. It is. This ham, the hamakatsu ham, kind of tastes like something between ham and bologna. Mm. You know? mm. So it's actually good. It's actually really good. Okay, here's the next one. Another deep fried item where everything's deep fried, what we're eating today. <laughs> and this one is like a rectangular <laughs> shape. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is ebi katsu, shrimp katsu. Crispy, you can hear that. I love mm. that sound of that. Sak sak. Sak Yeah. You know what? You are right. This is shrimp. Shrimp. I can already see the color. Oh, like yes, yes. Orange. Mmm. Mmm. Yep. Definitely shrimp. 
smells like shrimp. Uh, it's such a lovely I like, smell. I like this smell. <laughs> me too. I love shrimp. I know, me too. <laughs> Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. No. Oh, so good. Mmm. Oh. Shrimp, 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 shrimp. Pachito. Mmm. Pachito. Mmm. You know, this would be really delicious in a sandwich. Mm. <laughs> a sandwich. Yeah. You know? This with, sandwich must be very delicious. I'm pretty sure with mm. maybe some coleslaw cabbage mm. on top. Ah, this would be amazing mm. in a sandwich. Mm. We should do that one day. Mmm. Mm. If you guys like shrimp, this one has your name on it. Mmm. Mm. Delicious. Mmm. <laughs> and here is the next one. This another one that's you know, hard to tell what, what it actually is. Let me cut into it. Ooh, okay, this one is actually kind of flat. Mm -hmm. And let's see if it's actually cheese chicken. What? This is a cheese layer. Really? Cheese I layer? Cheese layer. Really? That's tiny layer? I oh, maybe. So, <laughs> and the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Well, you know what? I can smell the cheese. Oh, really? I can already smell the cheese. Ah, so, it definitely yeah. is cheese. cheese. Yeah, itadakimasu. Mmm! <laughs> mm. Cheese, 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 cheese. You know what? This has a flavor of Cheetos. It <laughs> tastes like, right? It tastes like American cheese. Mm. Mm. Cheetos! Why does it taste like Cheetos? It's Cheetos. Right? Cheetos. Oh my god! Mm. It's good! But it's odd at the same time, just because it tastes so much like Cheetos. If you guys live here in Japan or if you visit, please try this chicken cheese out and let me know if you think it tastes like Cheetos because I can't think of anything else except Cheetos right now. This is not my favorite. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> it's not as juicy. It's a bit more dry, mm, this mm. one. Okay, so the next one is... I think I can guess this one. Mm -hmm. This is hash brown. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and um, okay, so let's dig right in. In Japanese, we call it hashi potato. Hashi potato. Hashi do potato. Yes. Hashi do potato. And Japanese people love hash browns just as much as Americans do. Oh, it's very, very crispy. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Oh. Mm. 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 Oh, delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Has like a perfect saltiness. So, good saltiness. Right, good saltiness. Mm. It's perfect after eating, you know, mm. one chicken after another. Cause I was kind of getting chickened out. Mm. It's just very similar to the McDonald's. I have to make hash browns. <laughs> you gotta to make this hash brown. He makes really good hash browns. He really does. The next one is this big piece of chicken, and mm. it is called chicken, chicken steak. steak. Right. So let's cut into this bad boy. Very juicy. As soon as I cut into it, it's like mm. all this chicken juice is coming out. Now, I personally, Satoshi, you already know, I personally prefer breast. I see. But yes. Japanese people really don't like breast. Breast mm. is like the cheapest part of the chicken yes. here in Japan. <laughs> yes. We love chicken thigh. <laughs> I'm a cheap guy. Amazing. It's really good. Amazing. It tastes... This one reminds me of something you eat in a restaurant. Mmm! This is better than a restaurant. How much was this chicken steak? Because um, I'm kind of amazed at the quality. This this is the most expensive one is it? today. Yes. How much is it? 220. Okay. <coughs> okay, that's cheap for this. 220 yen for this is amazing piece of old? steak. All right, guys, we come to the last item. This is the most popular item at Family Mart. Yes, this is an iconic Family Mart food. Yes, it is called the Family Mart Premium, Premium chicken. chicken. And it's hot. It's really hot. I actually don't remember what they taste like. I think I had it once in my entire life. Like maybe... I've never eaten this. Five, six years ago. You've never eaten this it? This is the first time. Really? I think I had it once for Christmas. Because ah, Christmas we eat somebody, fried chicken. Somebody bought it. Somebody brought it. Maybe you mm. didn't eat it. You were like busy in the kitchen or something. Yes. It is a drumstick, but I'm gonna cut into it so you guys can see what it looks like on the inside. <coughs> okay, here's your piece Thank of chicken. You. Mm. This is very... No, I'm just gonna like eat it ah. with my hand. No, I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. Don't worry, I'll just take a <laughs> bite. Some, some, uh, some spice. The spices mm. are different mm. in this one. 
I cannot pinpoint exactly what those spices are, mm. but can. it reminds me of like basil mm. or oregano or mm. something. Ah, so that it. You know, chicken is very juicy. You guys can't mm. see it, but there's steam coming out right now. But mm. Mm. it's delicious. Mm. It's delicious. So Satoshi, which ones were your favorite? Choose two of your favorites. Okay. The most favorite is. Premium chicken. The last one we had. The last one. Really? Yes. Okay. And your second one? And second one is Fami chicken and sweet spicy one. Oh, I see. Okay, one of the first ones that we had, maybe number three and number four. And one more. What? Shrimp croquette. Shrimp croquette. <laughs> You're only supposed to choose two, <laughs> not three. <laughs> All right. Okay. It's my turn to pick. You're probably gonna be surprised at what I choose. Mm -hmm. My favorite. Mm -hmm. And I am actually surprising myself. Is the jumbo frank oh, the sausage that we meaty. had in the beginning? <laughs> I, I I never thought I would choose sausage over all this other food. And my second favorite is the famichiki spicy ah. one, the regular spicy one, not the sweet spicy. But I like that straight spicy family mart chicken. That was delicious. So hope you guys enjoyed this epic family mart epic hot Super epic. food. <laughs> Paul, I know. We, I cannot believe that we actually did this. <laughs> I really cannot believe we did this. But I um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know what you thought in the comments down below and what were some of your favorites in this epic haul that we did today. Um, if you want to see us do one for 7-Eleven as well as Lawson, awesome. let us know in the comments down below. Um, we have no idea what they have in the other places. I know that they have one of my favorite karaake at uh, 7-Eleven, but I don't think I've ever had hot food from Lawson. Like, never. Anyway, let us know if you guys want to see that. Um, and um, as always, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Check out our other videos, convenience store videos, by going up, clicking on the eye up there. Check them out. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Take care and see you guys very soon. Mahalo. Bye-bye.